What about the, the six mode? You directed that? Yeah, song? I did. How did you work on it? Well, when I was recording that song, I was hearing the sound of football players. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I think I'm interested in a lot of the imagery of, of athletes because, I mean, athletes are, are far more important in the culture in America, maybe in Europe too, than musicians or artists or filmmakers or, uh, you know, they're far more um, loved and appreciated. So, um, yeah, when I was recording that song, I had this image of these football players, but, and then I started to get the idea, uh, it'd be, it'd be great to develop my own, my own kind of sports if I could if if I could um, have my own football league you know the the football players would all be dressed like they are in the video you know with with pink and yellow numbers and and uh, you know the gear would be all mixed up they'd have some knee pads from cricket and then they'd have some elbow pads from inline skating you know just I would do this, something similar to what I do in my music and create a new sport <laughs> that had more uh, more of an aesthetic to it and that played with the idea of what's masculine and what isn't, you know. Um, so I, I incorporated that into, my, into the video and I think there's a lot of playing with the idea of, of, of masculinity and and what you're allowed to be um, in the culture as, as a male. I think, I mean, at this time, it's almost more women have more opportunities to, to be what they want in the culture. And in America, especially, you're very constricted. Guys are only allowed to be this now. You know, you're, it's very narrow. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the same in Europe. Yeah, it's probably the same. Like, you go, uh, you know, you go to a, a clothing store in the women's department, the clothes are way more cool and interesting. It, you know, guys, we have these really just boring clothes, you know, we're just... So, um, so I was playing with some of those ideas. And the idea that in America, either you're, you're totally masculine and you're totally in control of your manhood and you like sports and you work out and you're just you're one of the guys and you don't like any of that girl kind of stuff and and you know it's sort of cliche typical image of masculinity or the other accepted norm is this very sensitive new age kind of soul searching um, new age guy trying to get in touch with his feelings and and of course when you're somebody who isn't either you know when you're kind of in between or a little bit of both then you're just you're, you're you're outside of things and in america things are so much about the bottom line either you're part of that group or this and if you're in between you're just you're you're the other two percent you know um you don't really count so um, so I think I was playing with some of those ideas and, and uh, taking my taking the opportunity of making a video to to uh, merge some of those things and have those worlds collide. <laughs> you think you use your uh, art background or interest in art in uh, your video work? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I I I want to. When I make a video, I want to make something that um, that entertains people, um, but isn't completely disposable. Because a lot of videos are disposable. Um, I collect old videos, old um, what were they called in the in the sixties? Yeah, they used to make videos in in Europe in the sixties. So I collect a lot of those, and a lot of them are great. You know. They're just interesting little films, and so um, I want to make something that's interesting like that. And also, you can do things in a video. 
um, that you just can't do in film, you know. It's the difference between maybe a novel and a poem, you know. You can just completely immerse yourself in imagery and and let imagery be the substance, which you can't really do that in film. You have to tell a story. And I think videos that are linear, that tell a story, are kind of get boring after you see it two or three times, unless they're just absolutely brilliant. You've also been making a film? Yeah, I was. I, uh, I made an appearance in a friend of mine's film. Uh, it's called Recycler, and it's a low-budget thing. They shot it on video. And um, so, I mean, I was in it for one day. Um, What are you playing? I play myself, so I'm not really acting. <laughs> <laughs>